if I had to talk to somebody five years from now, 10 years from now about Travis's legacy, the question that I would ask is like, are you unafraid enough to drain dig? Because in my head, that's what this scholarship is doing. It's uncovering a next level for four people that have dreamed about that, right. but may not have felt like they had access to it. Well, the mission of the fund is, is very near and dear to my heart. And my hope is that it will enable students who have talent and drive and desire and ability to benefit from the possibilities that are here to follow their dreams and to move to a level that they might not otherwise be able to do uh, just because of the cost of, of a quality education like the Frost School provides. We all thought it would be a, a fitting tribute to Travis to, um, to name the scholarship after him and to, to remember um, and, and be able to help the next Travis. Travis was unique because, um, like myself, he was, he was a big guy and, um, you know, when he had a serious face, he was, it was a little imposing. And then all of a sudden he smiled and he was like a, a teddy bear. He was truly a, a, an incredibly talented musician. Um, not just a really good musician, like an astonishingly good musician. And yet, that is not the most important thing I will always remember about Travis. Travis had the biggest heart. He was kind. He was so passionate about people. He was passionate about the you. Music was his life, and working with the younger students, high school students, uh, that's all he would talk about. You could tell just looking at Travis play and teach, you could tell the love that he had for the music. For someone that doesn't have, or that didn't have an official degree in music education, his pedagogical skills were so much more well skilled. He just had such a incredible balance of um, maintaining incredibly high expectations for kids and not letting anything slide, while also being incredibly compassionate and understanding of them. If he believed in you, he was gonna, he was gonna, he was gonna like try to get it out of you. And um, even through music or just through anything, like he'll always like teach me about like life lessons, about money, about how to just like deal with different situations and like how he learned from like his past experiences, like being at FAMU, March with the 100, and just like all the things he'd been through in life. So he tried to put that on us. He was always there for like any advice, you know? So he was like that person that I always looked up to. I'm like, man, it's, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what he's gonna do in the future. Like that was just the most exciting part because you, you could look at him like he's not done. It was his dream to come here. Despite Travis's background and all of the hardships he's experienced in his life, he like fought tooth and nail doesn't even like really justify or cover. Like he was clawing his way with all of his might to get this opportunity. The University of Miami, for example, is not a, an inexpensive school. And it's not an easy school to get into. Uh, but University of Miami, you have people that, that their parents can cut a check with no problem. Travis worked hard for everything he did, for every class he took, for everything he was part of. And um, I really respected that. To give back is, is important to encourage those who have dreams and hopes and are trying to rise to another level and, and better themselves and the world is a great honor and a privilege. I feel like if we give kids opportunity and avenues and not have them just thinking, okay, I only have this option. If you give them a variety of options, I think we'll be better off as a, as a world, in my opinion. And I feel like we'll be better off as um, a performing arts in Miami. Anytime you name something in honor of someone, the hope is that people for years to come will ask, who was that? So this scholarship is, a, is, is perfect because it really does represent exactly Travis's journey. Uh, he did have 
uh, a challenging road, and he was just about to join us here at the University of Miami full time um, when, unfortunately, he his life was cut short. This scholarship going to someone. And for the time that I'll be here, I hope to see that I can see within whomever is awarded the scholarship that I can see Travis in the work of that individual. He knew how proud I am with him and I'm so proud of y'all doing it for him. I'm proud enough to say like, this is going beyond what he probably even Imagine. Imagine, yeah.